If I were Liz Cheney, I would be, yes, I'd be looking for some last minute allies, but then there are some allies I probably don't want to have on my side. Uh, watching cable news is all about Liz Cheney. Now, I gotta admit, I was not a fan of Liz Cheney. Don't get me wrong, I'm 50-50 on her politics, but I didn't like her. And then I just realized recently the reason I didn't like her had to do with her father, probably my least favorite politician of my adult life, former Vice President Dick Cheney. Then I saw a show the other day and I saw a quote by Voltaire that said that um, patriotism was the enemy of mankind. Thought about that a little bit. Somehow I started thinking about the uh, Republican Party. Uh, and it seemed that fact-based truth and honesty seem to be the enemy of many of these Republican politicians. And Liz Cheney stands up for the truth. Uh, and that's got her a lot of uh, heat. Uh, she may lose her position in the party. She may even lose her career as a politician. But that is something to be admired, standing up for the truth. That's something I know her father wouldn't have done. So right now I'm kind of a fan of Liz Cheney. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. O.J. Simpson? What the, what the heck? With friends like that, does she even need enemies? And, you're, you know, here's what I love about O.J. First of all, <laughs> O.J. talks about his sources of information. He's, uh, he read a quote by Voltaire, which actually Voltaire didn't say. I think he's thinking of Samuel Johnson. Patriotism is the last refuge of a scoundrel which doesn't mean what O.J. thinks it means. Uh, Johnson doesn't mean that patriotism is bad. In fact, Johnson himself was a, was a great British uh, patriot. What he meant is that sometimes people appeal to patriotism in order to um, pursue nefarious schemes, uh, such as unnecessary wars. Uh, hey, let's go invade Iraq. Uh, they got weapons of mass destruction. Uh, actually, later, no. So... Um, the ironically, this claim that patriotism is the last refuge of a scoundrel applies more to the Bush Cheney era. Now, I realize OJ is no fan of Dick Cheney, uh, but OJ professes to be a fan of the truth. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Why don't you tell us the truth about your case? <laughs> Are you still searching for the killer on the golf course, OJ? The real killer? <laughs> I think we all know the truth in that one. In fact, that's why you got a severe sentence for the second time around for supposedly <laughs> for supposedly the crime, in quote marks, of stealing your own stuff, your own merchandise. You wouldn't have gotten 14 years for that one, OJ. I think the judge thought, well, he got away the last time, but let's let the truth catch up to him this time.